hey everyone welcome back so this is the another most important scenario based power bi interview questions that has been asked by the tcs interviewer during the recruitment process of power bi developer job role for the experienced candidate okay so before moving into the questions let me show you the data set that i have already imported into the power bi desktop environment that is called as the sales data okay and if you really want to see what exactly this sales table content so just click on this table view and here you can see this is a cells table and in the, inside this cells table it contains three column one is date column next is state column and third is cells column okay and this date column contain the data from 1st January 2022 till date it means it means 1st December 2023 okay so now let's move to the report view all right and here you can see I have already created one visualizations that is stack column chart okay and in this column chart I have taken the state column okay if you will expand this here you can see I have taken this state column in the x-axis and the cells column in the y-axis all right and now we are able to see the chart like this all right so now our requirement is that here in this particular page we have to create a slicer which will by default show the current year and month data so let me show you the results so that it will be easy for you to understand what exactly we want to create all right so this is the chart visual that i have already explained to you and instead of this we have to create one slicer visual where it should be by default show the current year and month data and here you can see this is the current year and month data right and it is by default selected correct Today is 1st December 2023 so the year is 2023 and the month is December right so this is the 2023 and December month correct that's why this checkbox is automatically selected all right so now let's see how we can create this type of slicer where the current month and year will be by default selected okay so now as you can see here this is a free speech and here we have already imported one table called as the cells table and inside this cells table we have only three column as already we have discussed date column cells column and the state column all right and by the help of these three column i have created this stack column chart okay in the x-axis i have taken the state and in the y-axis i have taken the cells column all right now our requirement is we have to create a slicer which will be by default show the current year and month data right so to achieve this goal first of all you have to click on this three dot and you have to go to this get more visual all right then here you have to search for slicer all right then click enter then just scroll down and in the below part you can see a slicer called as the pre-selected slicer right so just click on it then click on this add button to add this particular slicer visual into our power bi desktop environment okay so i have already imported this slicer into the power bi desktop environment so let me show you here you can see this is the pre-selected slicer that we have imported from the marketplace okay then just click on this particular chart and add this into this canvas area all right and remember this chart visual take three argument to give you the result first one is field then next is pre-selection and third one is that is state okay but before that what you have to do first of all you have to go to the transform data and inside this power query editor as you can see here this is a cells table and in this cells table we have only three columns date state and cells right so the first step that we have to do is we have to create two column here one is for the year column and second is for the month column all right so for that just right click on this date column then click on duplicate column all right then again right click on it and click on duplicate column got it then first just rename this to year then enter then here again double click on it and rename it as month then enter okay then again click on it then right click on it then go to the transform and here just select the year got it and now here you can see we have successfully changed this particular column into the year value okay same way here just click on it then right click on it then click on transform then click on month 
then again click on month name all right and as you can see here we have already transformed this column into the month name okay so now the next step is just select this year and month all right in this sequence then right click on it then merge this column okay then here just select as custom and give the hyphen over here then again click on ok and now here you can see we have created one merge column by taking the help of year and month column correct and the name is merged all right or we can rename it as the year underscore month then click enter okay then click on this close and apply tab all right and then it will take you to the power bi desktop environment and now as you can see here we have successfully created one particular column called as the year and month right then now again you have to create another column in this power bi desktop environment all right on this table so just click on this table then right click on it then click on new column okay then rename it as year underscore month underscore core okay then equal to and now here you have to enter one dex formula call as the format okay and you have to write this to create the new column okay so let me explain what we have written here we are converting the date column of the sales table into this yyyymm format that's why we have created this particular column okay then click enter so now let me show you this data year month code so for that just click on this table view and here you can see this is the month year month code this is the combination of year that is 2022 here you can see this is the year 2022 and this is the month right that is january that's why we have written as 01 correct why it is coming as 01 instead of 1 because we have taken the format as mm that's why here we are able to see the 01 okay in that same format we have created the entire year month code for every year and month column then go to this report view all right then now again we have to create another measure in this particular cells table so for that just click on it then right click on it and click on new measure then rename it as pre selected underscore value all right then equal to and here you have to write the dex functions that is called as the max okay and inside this max dex functions you have to pass the column name that is year month code column of the cells table okay and this column we have created recently correct so so it will give you the result of the maximum value of this particular column all right then here, here you have to enter the equal to symbol then again you have to write the dex function called as the year and inside this year dex functions you have to pass the functions that is today function okay so it will give you the result of the today's date year it means today is the first december 2023 so out of that we have to extract here that's why you have the we have written the dex functions that is year right so this entire dex functions will give you the result as the 2023 correct then we are multiplying this 2023 with the help of 100 so it will give you the result as 202300 right this highlighted value will give you the result as the 202300 okay then we are adding that value with the month value today's month value so today is the first december right so out if you will extract the month from that so what will it will give the result as 0 1 right so we are adding 202300 plus 0 1 okay this will give the result as the 0 1 so we are adding this two value together okay this value and this value all right so what exactly we are doing here we are giving this result into this part and we are giving this result into this pre-selected value part all right then click enter all right and here you can see we have successfully created this major okay so now just click on this particular visualizations or the slicer that we have taken that is called as the pre-selected slicer okay and inside this field parameter what we will do we will pass this year month column that we have created all right then in the pre-selections value we will 
output this measure that we have created that is called as the pre-selected value okay then in the data status what you have to do we have to give the status okay so for that what you have to do you have to click on this enter data all right and just rename this table name as the status okay and rename this column name as the flag all right and here you have to enter true and then again here you have to enter the false okay then click on this load button now here you can see we have successfully added this status table and inside this it contained one column that is flag right so again click on this particular visualizations then scroll down and in the data status just drag this flag column of the status table and drop it over here all right but still you are not able to see the output why it is just click on this see details okay and from this error we are able to see this error is showing due to the data type right so just close this error okay then click on this year month column that we have created this is in the text format okay same way if you will click on this code format at that time here you can see the format is text so in, in place of this text just change the data type to whole number okay then click on yes and boom now here you can see this is the output and i have not selected this december 2023 this value has been selected automatically right here you can see this checkbox is already been selected right so today is the first december 2023 that's why here it is selected by default for 2023 december all right so if you will deselect this then this chart will show the data for entire year right for entire year and month value but again if you will click on this particular refresh button automatically this value will be selected okay suppose today is the first december 2023 that's why this value is by default selected correct but once it will be changed to first january 2024 at that time automatically this selected value will be january 2024 okay so i know this format is looking not good <laughs> okay so, so just click on this particular slicer then go to this format section okay and just click on display and instead of list just click on drop down all right and now here you can see today is the first december 2023 that's where december 2023 value is by default selected all right then next what will happen if this date will change to 1st january 2024 at that time here you can see the value as the 2024 and in place of month you can see the january and everything will be done automatically all right you do not need to change every time got it so in this way we can create a slicer which will by default show the current year and month data all right so thanks for watching take care bye bye